today is a special day when we're going to reveal the 2022 American made Nano 16. This is a little micro, well it's not too micro, but it's a smaller pontoon boat with the heavy gauge steel or aluminum hull, hull uh, pontoons. These things are trick, man. The shapes on them, they look cool. Nothing like it out there. Heavy welded. All I'll put a, you put a big dent in the side of these, it can be completely repaired by a full new panel. Uh, so the way it's built, it's, it's repairable if it got banged up real bad or something, uh, which you would never do, of course. But this thing's got a lot of space on it. It's very utilitarian. It's very much so a little expedition boat. Uh, it's got the UHMW bottom pads for landing it on the beach. So those things are designed to land on the, on the sand, dirt, uh, or rocks even, they're, they're hefty, they're designed for it. Uh, we got the tower, we already set up the tent, it takes us about seven minutes. Once you figure out how it works, it's pretty quick and easy. Um, you'd think you had to climb up, but we can do all of the launch and everything from down below because there's room to reach up underneath and hook up all the pieces so that you can fold it out and then you can get up there without climbing up on top to, to do all the work. So that actually makes it nice. Uh, we figured that out. Got a couple of seats with storage underneath here. Uh, swivel seats, so when you're fishing, sitting back here, so comfortable. Uh, stable boat, high buoyancy, carry some weight on it. Uh, you can put your rods and gear up here and set it up. Um, We've got right now, this boat has a 25 horse Suzuki on it. So the 25 horse is, uh, is cool. We liked this because uh, it's electric uh, power tilt trim, electric start, but it also does have a pull start. If you ever ran your juice down, or ran, ran out of battery, you could always fire that off. Uh, we've got, this one's got a Fusion stereo, and this is a uh, RA55, and it also has in a sub in the front, so it's got good bass. So it's really fun to have out here. Put it in the, put it out in the water. Have some tunes going on your, uh, from your phone. It's Bluetooth. Also, you can go through the radio and and other things too. Um, it's got a horn and and it's got your basic. Uh, you got your spreader lights up above. Boom. You got lights. We've got the bow lights, navigation lights, and then we've got an accessory item too there, an extra switch. Uh, shifters right here. It does have a chair that moves, but we didn't want to put a stationary seat here. And that was on purpose because we wanted to keep this space open. Because this is the idea with this boat is that you have the ability to move around, multiple people get on here, get access to the grill, not worrying about a seat being right there. And then the other thing too is you can set up a full another sleeping quarters right here. I'm 6'1". You got a full another set of uh, Two-person sleeping quarters right here on this back section um, under the cover of the top here. There we go. That's on the uh, top lights there. Uh, Clearance-wise, it's about six foot. It's six one plus two and a half inches, so about six three and a half uh, clearance on the top. Uh, it's got some grading. You can climb up on here. It's stout. It's sturdy. Um, give it a little shake. It's pretty solid. You'll see a little bit of movement on it, but I don't, that's nothing to worry or anything along those lines. So the tent is cool. This, this ladder just folds down and you can climb up in here. I'm going to take my shoes off here really quick and show you how big this is up here inside the tent. This is really cool up here. <laughs> We got the sunroof up here. We can roll this up, get this out of the way here. It's got a big mattress pad here. I said I'm 6'1". You can see I got plenty of room up here for a couple people. You've got a nice little moon roof here. You can see out, it's ventilated. Actually, it's got plastic on it too. So it's watertight as well up on the top so you don't get wet in here if it's raining. You can open up all the windows to see out. So I can see out right now across the lake. And it's plenty tall to sit all the way up in so you don't feel like you, you can't. And then I'll show you another thing here. See, this is really cool. You can just look outside and see all of it out there as well as in the back here.
there's a whole nother exit. And I could even go up here. I'm going to roll this up. And so you can see this is cool. Okay. See that? I'm all the way able to climb all the way out this back area if I needed to. It's a back fire escape. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, you got a lot. I mean, this is all opened up now. So if it's hot, you can cool off really good in here. Uh, it's good and shaded. The thing I wanted to show you is, is it's got bars that go across here. These are the frame. And these frames are solid. So if you're worried, you know, oh man, I'm going to fall out of this thing. It's not going to be something you ever have to worry about because these are solid bars here across the back. And so, so it's pretty good that way. You got your hanging things to get there. It says you open up the top and see outside, see the stars. It's really cool up here. Like really, and comfortable too. It's very comfortable. This mattress is, is like a memory foam mattress. And so it's comfortable as well. So this makes a great little hut up on top and it's crazy to think I'm up on top of another, on a boat. Looking down, you got a whole crew down below if you need to and you can see them. This is rad being up top here. This is Bud. What's up? One thing I'm gonna say about this boat is with its, it's like a floating jungle gym, we'll put it that way. So whoever runs and operates this boat, climbing up, putting this tent up, getting around on it, they're gonna have to have some limitations on size and weight um, and have some physical capability to do so, some balance things. If that's, if it's a boat where you don't have good balance or something, it's probably not the boat for you. Um, this one is really, um, this thing is really, is a very flexible pattern that you could really get climbing around on and do some stuff with you know but it is it is a fun boat it is a very fun boat and it's built to not have any really maintenance at all on it I mean, really there's nothing to this boat it's solid aluminum the floor even underneath the deck here this vinyl looks like normal vinyl but right underneath it it's all aluminum so there's no wood in this boat at all. This one goes out to Robert Humble. He is the designer of this boat. He's built, he's built a lot of boats, but he has this eye for design that nobody else has. That's why you've got these really cool looking utility pontoons. And when they ride on the water, they cut different than a normal pontoon. They ride a lot higher. Uh, you've got a lot of, a lot of uh, use and potential with this boat. You'll be able to do things. It definitely gets the views. I mean, people freak out when they see this thing. We took this one and revealed it at the expo um, in Medford, and there, there was a solid line of cameras coming up for this thing. It's totally wild. It's a utility boat built to last forever. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be an easy boat to own. Uh, covering it, you can put this top tent or put this tent folded away. Put a tarp over the top of this thing. It'll ride outside fine. You don't need to have to put it inside because it won't ever have water set sitting on because it'll run right off because it has that full-on aluminum tower holding it up. And there's more stuff to do up here. Throw kayaks up on top. Um, you can basically take this thing out and it's just a whole activity day on the water. And you can go find your own beach somewhere where there's not a bunch of people and then pull all your gear off of this thing. Or you can go out and float in the middle of the lake and anchor it up and just sit there all night, fish all night while you Stay up there, cook some food on the barbecue, have your drinks, um, watch some TV, fish, however you want to play it, man. There's a million ways to play with this boat. It's going to be a good time, though. And this boat's designed for just being able to do it all. And it's simple, and anybody can run it.